What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it's been it's been a crazy day. Um, it's crazy in Kansas City where nine kids. I believe it's not okay. Now again. Don't quote me on anything because the stuff is still happening right now. Um, you know, they're still getting everything together. When you have this many people shot, it's it's hard to put all the pieces and things together. And sometimes we end up getting uh, different reports um, of what's happening and find out later on they're not exactly the way they were. Um, so it'll take time to piece all this together. But nine kids, I think, were part of the wounded. Um, anybody just going out and shooting people you don't even know especially kids and there's a special place in hell for them I, I just don't understand that one and another thing I don't understand either is that now let, let me be clear here let me be clear here I am not a San Francisco 49er fan I can't stand them those guys you know I thought that now listen I have been around some bad fans you know, New England fans, they can be really obnoxious. I remember uh, how bad we, we had one year we were at the Super Bowl when they were playing against Atlanta. And Atlanta was molly whopping them in the first half. And we had a 15-year-old a girl who had done some stuff and won a trip to the Super Bowl with United Way uh, for school and things. And the, 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 the New England fan was right behind us. And he was and like crazy oh my god and you know it's like dude you know we got a 15 year old right here and stuff and then when they started winning he really started cussing like crazy and they were obnoxious and i remember the super bowl new england versus the eagles man you talk about just some ugly fans i don't I'm not talking just about their physical attributes because they were ugly too but they were ugly mean and nasty but they pale in comparison to all the crash and stuff that I have received from 49er fans. I ain't seen 49er fans till this year thick. They make uh, Eagle fans look like whiny little punk biatches. They look weak need. okay? They were just hell. So I'm not on board with the 49ers. I am happy they lost. In fact, I, I'm happy that it went down to overtime. You know, that, 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 that it, it, they missed it by this much. So it stings that I know we ain't done anything. We ain't been to the Super Bowl since 95. But the 49ers ain't won one since 94. Take that. But I'm sitting here trying to understand something here is why they fired Steve Wilkes. Steve Wilkes has only been there one year. That defense was not a bad defense. It wasn't like they gave up 50 points because here, here's, here's where, you know, everybody's kind of going off on Twitter and things like that. Sean Merriman, who doesn't understand a lot, he doesn't understand that Justin Herbert is not that dude but be that as it may he said i don't understand this one at all clarence hill this is a great one he didn't touch that punt he didn't tell a bosa crash on that fourth and one when he had contained he didn't get greenlaw hurt he didn't make kevin uh, he didn't make christian mccaffrey fumble he didn't miss the extra point and he didn't settle for field goals on the final two drives on the offense. So tell me again how this is Steve Wilkes' fault. To put it another way, DeMarco Ryan gave up 31 points to the Eagles and Jalen Hurts and loses their second straight NFC Championship game. Okay, now he gets a head coaching job with the Texans and did really good, got them to the playoffs. Um, Salah gave up 31 in the Super Bowl and got a head coaching job. Wilkes only gives up 25 in five quarters against a Hall of Fame coach and probably a Hall of Fame quarterback. But somehow 
He's the one to blame? And the thing is, is you had the head coach who said we did not know the overtime rules had changed. So, was that him trying to deflect and literally, literally throwing him under the bus? Let's dig a little deeper. The 49ers only allowed 20 points four times all season. Four times. Four times all season. So, the fudge? I... That's clearly Shanahan trying to save his ass and figuring, well, you just got here, bro. You've only been here one year, so it's easier for me to say bye-bye to you. Um, and I hold on to my spot. Best of luck. So now, Steve Wilkes is unemployed and it's at a late stage late stage so it's going to be harder to find jobs right off the bat so maybe i don't know um now this is what one person said he wasn't let go because of anything that happened in the super bowl the front and back of his defenses weren't in sync, and it wasn't getting any better after a full season. It's not any more dif difficult than that. The decision was many weeks in the making. Bet you if they had won, it wouldn't have been. Um, so that's what they're saying. They were horrible in run defense. He did not know how to use his front seven. How is it so hard for you guys to get over? Yeah, that's some people covering it up for him. You know, sorry. That defense. Okay, so who you get? Uh, here's my question. Okay, if he's not the guy with a defense that only gave up 20 all season, 20 all season, and wasn't the reason why you lost the Super Bowl, who you going to get to replace him? Because this is what I always say to Cowboy fans. As you go through and say, you know, trade Dak, get rid of Dak, cut Dak, and all that. Okay. Then what's your answer? Who are you going to get to replace him that's going to be better? <laughs> Somebody says, you mean to tell me that Dallas could have waited a few more days and got Steve Wilkes? Um, yeah. So my question is, is, Steve, would you like to be passing game coordinator for the Cowboys? Bro. We'll see. All right, good people. Hope you're having a great Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys real soon. Take care, Mama.